Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 100 of our blind playthrough of Dark Souls. So last time we collected the final soul that we needed for the um, Lord Vessel and to proceed to uh, what I think is the last part of the game. And people have been telling me that I should, you know, go back and do some things because I will not be able to come back to this part of the game. So that's what we're doing. Today we're, doing, we're uh, tying some uh, loose ends and... Uh, some other things, but to commemorate the 100th part of this playthrough, I think I'm going to try uh, something a little different. First of all, one of the things that I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to come here and talk to this giant blacksmith because I think I have a few flames that he will want to take off my hands. I assume they're for him and not Andre. It's one or the other, one or the other. And I might want to ascend a few of my weapons, so uh, let's let's do let's talk to him. Mm -hmm. What's that? Shiny, shiny. Give me that. I make weapons shiny. There you go. That's that's what I thought he he would want. I, I have a few more. I don't know if he wants more or he can if he takes them all at once. I had shiny, shiny. I make weapons shiny. Yeah, well, I don't want your crystal weapons, but hey, I'm I'm gonna give you some other soon. some other embers if you'll take them. Mm -hmm. Hello, forge. I can. Strong I am. Well, I guess he doesn't, but hey. Okay, so let's reinforce my weapons here a little bit. Let's see what weapons I can uh, I can reinforce and how that affects anything. Well, I was thinking, because I'm partial to pole arms, that we should upgrade this partisan here. I think we can do it. I have a ton of souls, so let's do it. Let's upgrade it to plus five, and then maybe ascend it into something a little stronger. Okay, yes, plus five. All right, it's now out of here for some reason or another. Okay, does that mean I cannot ascend it, or how does that work? Reinforce, repair, purchase, modify equipment. Ah, maybe this is how it works. And uh, I can, uh, can I transform, uh, how does this work exactly? This reverts back to the original state. This transforms them into crystal, I think that's what it does. This one transforms weapons into, no, this transforms them, in, transforms them into crystals. Into crystal weapons is what I mean. This one makes them of the thunder element, and this one does something or another that I don't quite understand. Okay. All right. Uh, but this one, Soul of Gwendolyn. Okay. All right. This requires something that I wasn't prepared to do, but hey, whatever. Um. Hmm. Well, it seems. Let's reinforce another weapon and, and see if that does anything. What other weapons would I be interested in upgrading? I was looking at them and. Well, I could try the halberd, I suppose. Let's try the halberd, because I kind of I, li I like this weapon. Okay. And there's a crystal hal halberd, but it's pretty much destroyed, this one. I, f I, I found the lucerne here. I, I had this before, and I equipped it. It's not really a polearm, because you kind of can't attack with it while uh, while having your shield up. Let's give it a try anyways. Let's, uh, let's upgrade this one. Maybe it'll be a good weapon, because it has, it has long range. It's basically a giant pick, and I don't have any Titanite shards. Can I buy Titanite shards from you? Yeah, I can. Okay, let's buy a few. Like 10, I think this will be good. Now, reinforce weapon. Let's finish reinforcing this one. The Lucerne. Okay. Once more. There we go. Okay, fantastic. And now let's try modifying my equipment here and uh, making it do something. I don't have any equipment that I can modify to the Thunder Element, and I can't do anything with these for whatever reason. And these I can only turn... Okay, that's crappy. Well, I'm gonna go check with Andre and see if uh, something else... If I can do something else with these weapons over there. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back here with Andre, and uh, let's check it out if uh, some of the embers that I got recently are, are his. Let's see if he wants them. Well, I'll be. That's a brilliant ember you've got there. For all my years in the trade, that might be the finest. How's about you leave that ember with me? I'm just an old smith. I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. Okay, sure. Let's give him the ember. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre Yvastora gets the job done. You shall see. 
I have no idea what that means, but let's try modifying some of my equipment. Um, what can I do? I can modify the Shodel plus one into a raw Shodel. A new, well, I could do all of this before, right? Well, I, I, I think I'm going to do the raw Partisan. I don't know what that means. Or I can make a Divine Partisan. That would be good, but for some reason the... Like, the raw... the damage, the physical damage is lower. I don't know if, okay, if this is a good idea, but what else can I do? Uh, I can make a shuttle... I can normally upgrade it and make it just make a Partisan plus stand or something. That would be okay, I guess. Or I can make a raw Aie... I don't know what raw means. What does that mean? Um, what is a raw Aieto? It has... Uh, some sort of auxiliary... Oh, it has poison, I think. And if I do partisan, it'll have... it doesn't have any poison. God damn it. Um, <laughs> I don't quite get how these things work. I don't know if you've, uh, if you got that yet. Um, hmm. Hmm. So what is the reason for turning things into their raw something or another? Huh, I'm trying to figure that out. I don't quite get it. Okay, okay, alright, okay, okay, okay. And I don't think I can do anything with my... Ooh, suddenly shield. It's a nice divine shield, something or another. Ooh. How about... Like, the normal... Yes, can I upgrade my shield, my normal shield, to something better? Yes, I can, I think. Okay, that's good. It's ascended to plus six. And now it's out of here, so I guess I can't do anything else with it. Okay, alright, alright. Okay. Uh, and I don't want to. This is uh, to return them back, and this is to make a divine part. Hmm, should I make a divine weapon? Because it, it gives me. It gives it magic properties, and I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, it might not be bad to have a weapon with magic properties in case I want it. Okay, sure, why not? Let's make it a divine partisan. Let's see how good this is. Uh, can I upgrade it any further, or how does that work? I don't think I can. Okay, how about I make a raw hiato? Sure, why not? I don't know if this is good or not either. Just going off instinct. And, um, I don't know, from, from here on out, how about... This does nothing, I don't know what that does. And, uh, how about a raw lucerne? Sure, why not, raw lucerne. Whatever, man. And, uh... Halberd plus six, sure. I don't, I don't really care about that. I think. How about a divine something? A divine. Can I make? This? No, I can make a divine halberd from this. Whatever. I'm just gonna find a divine Ricard's rapier. Whatever. Okay. Now we've wasted a few souls. We have a few weapons to try don't out. Get and get yourself um... killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Okay, man, yeah, you, you, you got a lot of uh, out of our relationship here. I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're here, and I just made the cut here. I didn't want to, but I made it here because of something that I found interesting. Someone left me a very specific comment and told me to take the Dark Moon Seance Ring, I think that's the name of the item, over here by this by, by a statue, and I assume it's this statue. But they told me to take it to Dark Moon Tomb, and I had no idea where that was. But, as I was teleporting from, um, from this bonfire to where Andre was, when I tried to teleport back... Well, it doesn't appear here, but this area is called Dark, Dark Moon Tomb. So I think this is where I need to take the ring. And I'm not going to take it right now, because I am planning on defeating another boss first. But we're, we're going to check that out later. And I'm going to try a new weapon. Which weapon am I going to try of the ones that I just got? How about the Divine Partisan? Why not? Sure, that's, that's fine. See how good this is. This weapon, I um, I tried the raw, the, not the raw one, the basic one, um, a little bit, and uh, it seems that it it's sort of like the normal spear. It, that's what it looks like. The the attacks. It's not a heavy weapon. The tip is a little bit thicker, so I I would seem it would seem to me that it's a little bit stronger. But I don't know. I don't know what the big difference is between this weapon and the other, the the normal spear. Also, I'm coming here and. Uh, because there is a painting here, a very special painting. And also, I would never have found this out on my own, but like a long time ago, people have told me that there is an item that I can use to 
go inside the painting and defeat a an optional boss. And I think said item is uh, nothing like I don't know where the I think it's a key item maybe possibly could be there it is. It's this peculiar doll that I found in it was found in Undead Asylum when we returned there, and. It, the, the description is this. There was once an abomination who had no place in this world. She clutched this doll tightly and eventually was drawn into a cold and lonely painted world. Okay, so this is a clue. This is a clue that we should take this, I think, to uh, where the painting is. And the painting is at the end of this room, but this it's, it's protected. It's well guarded by these assholes over here. But we've been here before. We, we know what we're, we're in for. You dick! How, how'd you do... I wasn't even... F what?! You dick! Yeah, you're getting stabbed, buddy. Wow, this is doing nothing to you. I don't, I don't, th I don't think I care for this, for this, uh, this partisan. Or at least it's, it's not very strong against these enemies. Yeah, this is terrible. I'm gonna change weapon as fast as I can. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, fuck you. But I'm not, I'm not gonna try, try a different weapon. Trying a different weapon right now. I, that might be the reason for that. It might be that, uh. How about a raw lucerne? The reason for this weapon being dealing so little damage is because I'm not a very magically oriented character. Also, recently I learned that the the chaos element, the lightning element, and the fire element in this game aren't affected by stats. So basically, even if you're a warrior like like me, wow, that was that was okay. Even if you're a warrior like me or, or a, a physical character, and ouch, okay physical character and you try to use that magic it will still work basically it's not it doesn't use any other stats as modifiers meaning I'm not very good with this weapon I don't think meaning that um, if it's not affected then it will be effective even if someone who is not a sorcerer or anything else uses it so that's that's cool to know also I'd like to try the pyromancy the whip thing that we got earlier but I kind of forgot that it was there Okay, so I don't care very much for these weapons, to be honest. <laughs> I'm so used to the ones that I usually use. I, I don't suppose this one will be any good either, but hey, let's try it out. Might be in for a surprise or two. But I think the surprise will be that I will not, yeah, be dealing any <laughs> sizable amount of damage. Yeah, no. I, I don't think we're going very far with this weapon. Yeah, I don't think this is working out for me. I think I'm going to take either my Black Knight Sword, maybe the Black Knight Sword, because it's been a while since I used it. Kind of uh, missing it a little bit, but I have to kill these guys first, because I can't really change my weapons while I'm facing them. Yeah, see how many hits I, I, I have to deal with these guys? Yeah, I mean, I know the weapon is, is low damage, because it's supposed to be a combo weapon. Ooh, hey, you're, you're using Estus, you piece of dick. Who said you could use Estus, you dick? Um, God damn it, now you're going to make me lose... God damn it. Lose life. God damn it. Me and my experimentations. Yeah, you just die, and now your buddy. I'm, I'm gonna take care of him real soon. Okay, come on, buddy. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Do your thing. Yeah, do your attack thing. Okay, there. Nope. Come on, man. Let me backstab you a little bit. Just slightly. Just slightly backstab you. A little bit. Won't hurt, I promise. Just a little bit. Why are you just... Using your sh what? What the hell are you doing, man? Yeah, cue the Benny Hill music. This is taking too long. Come on, man. And yes, it's a buckler. That's fantastic. You have a buckler. That's great. Fuck you. Okay. There we go. I don't like this weapon. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So let's put it back and try out my Black Knight Sword plus five. I wonder if I can upgrade it to plus six. But uh. I'm, I'm happy with the, with the plus five version of the weapon. Okay, now let's take care of the last few guys. They're here. They're queer. And they're ready to die. Come on, people, over here. You know you want to, you know. Yeah, that's cool. Fuck you. See, that one one hit and, you, and you're dead. A lot better than, like, ten hits and you're dead. There you go. Another hit. Now I'm gonna full heal because... We are close to the painting, and I wonder how you activate the painting, or how you're supposed to do anything with it. Do I just approach it, or am I supposed to pull, do, pull out my my peculiar doll? Oh, I just examined it, I guess.
Whoa! <laughs> Jump scare there, buddy. That's a nice painting, though. Kind of like it. I, I would never... <laughs> Painted world of Ariamis. That is pretty. That's nice. I would never, on my own, have figured this out. Well, I, I might have if I had read the description of the of the item because it's the only painting in the game so it's kind of you know hard to mistake 